having a good time. We're back now with our barbershop takeover. Ice Cube and Comet are here. Give it up for them. Because they're making waves. They are making waves with Barbershop, the next cut. I saw it last night. Ooh, we've got a sneak peek at how things are gonna are going in the shop. Take a look. It's like we have two toddlers in the house. It's a new situation. It's not no, a, new it is a new situation. It's been a year. It's taking a little you time. Being you know how long he was his mother. I understand that. I know. That. All right, y'all. Let the mother carry the shot. Yo, do y'all need a minute? Because we'll all leave. You know what? I, I'm going to leave. It's like love and hip hop reunion in here. <laughs> if you've seen Love and Hip Hop, it was like the reunion. Yeah. Please, a proper welcome. Yeah. Ice Cube and yeah. Common yeah. here. Yeah. Good morning, Mayor. I a big fan of the franchise. This one has heart, has humor, has a message behind it. But first, IQ, yeah. congratulations. Out of Compton you. getting recognition at MTV yes. Awards and mm -hmm. NWA in the Rock and Roll Hall of yes, Fame. Yes, How was that? Oh, man, it feels great, you know, to be recognized after all these years, you know, um, 30 years ago or 25 years ago, I, mm -hmm. I would not have never thought that the music industry even wanted to remember NWA because of uh, how, how much, uh, you know, criticism we got, how much, you know, venom we got when we mm -hmm. first started. But, you know, for it to come full circle and to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is one of the greatest feelings. Well deserved. And I love the music in this one. And yeah. I'm going to talk about the one that you all put together. But Common, you were the newbie. Yes. Newbie to the franchise. And this was very important to you because it's based in Chicago. That's where you're from. Yeah, I feel really connected to this whole story. I mean, dealing with the gun violence um, that's happening in Chicago and in many cities across America, it was like this this script, this story had a heart to it that I was like, man, I need to be a part of this. And, I, and to be able to work with Cube and and Cedric and, and Dion Cole and Nicki Minaj and Malcolm Lee. Mm -hmm. It's like, wow, this is beautiful. A beautiful job with the cast. Thank you. I mean, really comes it's so talented, funny in the way they, they work together. But it really does. This one has a social message to it that's very important. Yeah, you know, we didn't want to do just a barbershop, just the <laughs> You know, you can always clown the local celebrities or the politicians, but we wanted a story that was really going on in Chicago. You know, and anybody knows what's going on on the south side of Chicago, knows that, you know, you can't do a, a movie about the barbershop without talking about what's going on right outside the right. barbershop. And, and with Calvin now having a 14-year-old son that he's trying to keep out the streets, it was just the perfect uh backdrop to wrap this movie in and i love that it was also about this 48 hour the weekend of a ceasefire yeah, yes. and you got that from a, a real life story in memphis a barbershop in memphis yeah yeah i read a story about it uh, about a guy who you know he didn't know what to do so he he said he was gonna give out free cuts you know if they stopped the violence and um i just thought that was a great premise uh and a great thing for him to do for the community and, you know, so in Barbershop, we got something similar. Yeah, you surely do. And I know that was very important to you. Yes, if it, it's empowering. Yeah. It's like I remember hearing o President Obama saying a speech like, it's going to be up to you what in you do with a, in America, what we do as the people. And like for Cube and, and our story to say, hey, the barbers can help make change. That means anybody can help make the change. And it's, I think the movie for me, is like, it makes you feel good when you leave. You feel empowered and inspired to do something. It makes you think, gentlemen. Yes. That's what I mean, because I knew I was going to laugh. Yeah. And, 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 yeah. And, you, and you do that. And I knew it was going to have some heart to it. But it just, you finish watching it, and it makes you ask questions. And it, it, it does, inspires you, and it gives you hope. Yeah. But um, I got to tell you, the barbershop, my dad went to Tyrone's. Every Saturday, <laughs> he, was at, he was at Tyrone's. And we're going to go to Colby's. This is in a barbershop that's in New Jersey. And the fellas want to ask you a question there. Who has a question? Who has a question for the guys here? Tarek, do you have a question? All right. How you doing? <laughs> All right, Tarek. Um, I would like to ask Cube a question. Can you hear me? Yeah, we hear you. Go ahead, shoot. That's how you doing. All right. Good. Uh, if, you was a, if you wasn't an actor, would you be a barber in real life? Because you played a very great part. <laughs> hey, maybe. You know, um, Barbers are, are you know, our unsung heroes in the neighborhood. You yes, know, they, and, uh, are. they keep our self-esteem up. So, so do our beauticians. You know, without them, where would our self-esteem be? You know, you yeah. can always walk into a barber shop, get a nice conversation. When you walk out, you're looking good, you're feeling good, and uh, you know, makes us feel better. So, you know, I would definitely consider it. 
Thank you, Terry. Yeah, it was a social media before there was Thank social you. media. Yeah. Without a doubt. You know, yeah. being there. How about you? I mean, you got a I mean, clean look. I mean, I, I still I take pride in this body. My man Junior just hooked me up right now, <laughs> keeping my beard tight. It's, it's, you know, I care about my body. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> and I, I got to tell you guys, I'm so glad. And you guys have buried the hatchet long ago. Yeah. And the song "Real People," yeah. which is a part of that, just just tell you how you were able to put aside your differences and work together. Well, you know, it's great because, you know, we, we showing that even if you have a problem with somebody, you know what I mean, through time, through a, a little, uh, you know, a little humbleness, you yeah. can get through that. And you can uh, not only get through that, but you can work together, you can become friends, mm -hmm. you can do a hit song together, whatever. So it was, it's just great to be able to work with Common uh, in the movie and on, on the song. and. You know, it, it feels it feels real good. And for yeah. you, coming. I mean, I feel like we showing we showing an example of like people that do have beef, whether it's on the streets, mm -hmm. in music, or whatever. You over, overcome those things for a higher purpose. I'm working with Ice Cube on films, and and making music. Like we we progressing and we putting positive energy out there. <laughs> Instead of just staying yeah. into that negative space and holding something, we could have held our egos and been on something, but we, we weren't about that. It's all about moving forward. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Love you guys. Thank you. Thank it's you. a film that everybody needs to see. And uh, we thank everybody at our watch party party as well. Tarek, yeah, okay, now now it's yeah, now it's all in. Okay. <laughs> Barbershop, the next cut is in theaters on Friday.